Mastering the Passive Voice, Common Mistakes and Power Tips. Hello there, language learners. Today, we'll dive into the world of passive voice. A critical element in English grammar, it's often misunderstood or used incorrectly. But don't worry, we're here to demystify it and provide you with some essential tips for recognizing and using passive voice correctly. Let's get started. Passive voice is a grammatical structure where the object of a sentence becomes the subject. This means that the focus is on the action, not who performed it. For example, active, James painted the wall. Passive, the wall was painted, by James. In the passive sentence, we are more interested in the wall, the object being acted upon, than who did the painting. One of the most common mistakes is the misuse of verb forms. Remember, in passive voice we use be plus past participle. Often, learners forget to use the correct form of be or the past participle. For example, the cake was eat is incorrect. The correct form is the cake was eaten. Another common mistake is overusing the passive voice. While passive voice is a valuable tool, it shouldn't replace active voice in your writing. It can make sentences unnecessarily complicated or vague. Let's go over some powerful tips to help you master the passive voice. 1. Look for the be, verb and past participle. If you see a form of be, followed by a verb and past participle, it might be a passive sentence. 2. Check the focus. In passive sentences, the focus is on the action or the object, not on who performed the action. 3. Use it intentionally. Passive voice can be useful when you want to emphasize the action over the doer, or when the doer is unknown or unimportant. 4. Practice makes perfect. Try to convert active sentences into passive and vice versa to get a feel for the different structures. There you have it, folks. The passive voice doesn't have to be a mystery. By understanding its function and keeping these tips in mind, you can use it effectively in your English writing and speaking. Remember, learning a language is a journey. Keep practicing, and you'll see improvements. Hope this video was helpful. See you next time, happy learning!